You're going to find out very soon. That was President Trump today. It appears he's close to making a campaign promise to leave the Paris Accord a reality. CBS News has learned the president has told his advisors he'll pull out of the global climate agreement to cut carbon emissions. So what is the Paris Agreement? It was signed back in December 2015 in Paris, of course. Nearly 200 countries are on board. The aim is to cut greenhouse gas emissions and keep global warming below 35.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The Trump administration has questioned if global warming is man-made. Their president has also said the Paris Agreement is bad for job growth. So what's your take? We want to know if you think the U.S. should pull out of the Paris Accord. Head over to WUSA9.com slash vote and have your say in our real-time poll. Let's get to our discussion. Bob Deans, Director of Strategic Engagement at the National Resources Defense Council. You with the president or against him on this? We're with, we're with Paris. It's a terrific agreement. we got to stay in. Okay. Myron Ebel. Uh, pronounce your last name. Ebel. Ebel, Director of Center for Energy and Environment. You with the president or against him on this? With. Okay. And uh, Ahmet Ronan, director of the George Washington University Solar Institute, with or against the president? The president's on this? dead wrong on this. We need to stick with the rest of the world. Okay. Let's start with you and, and, and go back. Why is the president wrong on this? Look, we got every single country in the entire world on planet Earth except for Nicaragua and Syria are in this agreement. I, I don't understand why President Trump wants to make us a pariah, give up a multi trillion dollar clean energy industry and market opportunity by pulling us out of this agreement, not to mention all the environmental uh, benefits that would come from participating. Pre President said he's making the right move here. He's, uh, he's choosing jobs. Well, he hasn't announced his decision yet, but President Trump ran on getting out of the Paris Climate Treaty. It was a campaign promise. It was one of the things that got him elected. And it's part of his energy agenda, which is a key part of achieving his goal of getting economic growth in the United States back to 3% per year, which we haven't had for 10 years. Okay, this agreement will cost the U.S. jobs if we stay in. Uh, it certainly will over time, and it will, it, it exposes the president's domestic energy agenda to legal threats in court. So I think uh, it, it's best for us to get out, and uh, I hope the president will make that decision to keep his promise. Bob, why should they stay in? Oh, Bruce, it would be a terrific blunder, a reckless uh, blunder that our children would pay the price for it. I mean, this would put us at odds with science. It would sideline American workers in the economic play of our lifetime. And it would isolate the United States from a global coalition we created, Germany, India, Japan, 190 other countries to fight climate change. And for what? To put profits of fossil fuel companies first and put the rest of us at risk. Not great, Bruce. In fact, horrible for our country and for our kids. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham had this to say uh, about the president thinking about pulling out. Let's take a listen. If I were him, I would stay in the agreement and make it a better deal for worldwide business interests. But if he does withdraw, that would be a definitive statement by the president that he believes climate change is a hoax. That would be bad for the party, bad for the country. Climate change, is it a hoax? Great, Scott. No, it's not a hoax. It's a central environmental challenge of our time. And here's how we know. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration tells us it's a problem. The National Academy of Sciences, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, Bruce, the guys who put a man on the moon. And as you said earlier, a leaders of 194 other countries are telling us it's a problem. And we got Donald Trump listening to Steve Bannon? Myron, uh, Lindsey Graham says it's bad for the country, it's bad for the party. Um, it, 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 it's buying into the fact that, that global warming is a hoax. I, I think Lindsey Graham does not speak for uh, the, the uh, millions of voters who elected Donald Trump. And I also think that as a uh, problem, global warming is not high on the, on the scale of global problems. I think the rate of warming has been exaggerated. The impacts of warming have been exaggerated, and the costs of trying to reduce emissions have been lowballed by uh, thousands of percent. In fact, if the entire Paris Agreement, every country meets its obligations using the UN methodology, that will only reduce global warming by five one hundredths of a degree by 2100. I heard so somebody say, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead, make your point. Uh, my point is, there was. One accurate thing I think that Mr. Ebel said, which is the Paris Accord by itself is not enough. We need to do a lot more. But to refute the science when you have 
literally tens of thousands of peer-reviewed studies over decades is, I think, a bit of a stretch. I don't, well, want, to simpl I don't want to simplify you know, what the president said, but if we just take the coal miners, because everybody seems to be drawing a parallel with the coal miners. What, 90 plus thousand coal miner jobs? Okay, Massachusetts alone has, has about twice as many in alternative energy. So they're creating jobs elsewhere. You know, you, you, to keep a promise of the coal miners, a lot of people but, are saying it just but, doesn't make sense. But Bruce, these are not high-value jobs. Uh, coal miners, there may be 50,000 coal miners, but they produce 10 times as much energy as 500,000 workers in renewable energy. So we're not getting a lot of value out of renewable energy. We're getting a huge punch into the economy from what coal miners produce every day. Bruce, I mean, in, I mean, the, in, the, in the 30 years before the Paris Agreement, the coal industry laid off 70% of its workforce. The reason is we're finding cleaner, smarter ways to power our future, and that's what this is about. Are we going to anchor our future in the dirty fossil fuels of the past or move forward with options? Can I give you the last word? Sure, just think about it in jobs. Last year, one in 50 jobs in the entire United States was in the solar industry by itself. We got a million people working in clean energy, five times as many as the fossil fuel electric generation. So if this is about jobs, it's the wrong decision.